today we will have a discussion on phylogenetic status this is your 1.6 syllabus in anthropology optional paper 1 good morning friends today we will have a discussion on phylogenetic status this is your 1.6 syllabus in anthropology optional paper 1 so what is phylogenetic status or what is phylogeny now in phylogeny we discuss about evolutionary history of any organisms or animal or species now this year upsc asked question that discuss major species of australopithecus which was discovered from south and east africa describe the discovery physical features and significance of tuang baby okay so in this we do have to reflect on phylogeny or phylogenetic status of australopithecines okay so let's have a discussion on australopithecines this picture which you can see here it is a picture of a tuang baby okay australopithecines so australopithecines is a primate which we uh, which we believe that possesses the quality or characteristics of both humans and apes we trace humans evolution from australopithecines okay so we try to understand phylogeny of australopithecine this is the demand of the question if you read the question it is simply asking you major species of australopithecus okay so we do have robustus form we do have a glacial form we do have a africanus afrinensis you know all these are the species of australopithecines and it is talking from south and east africa we are not going to talk about phylogenetic species or uh, this you know the species of any other discoveries but uh, from south and east africa and then we'll talk about tuang baby okay so this is a direct question which upsc this year asked in 2023 and we will quickly see about it Now you will see that it was ribbon dart who discovered to like in a tuang which is known as tuang baby in South Africa, and they are asking about the significance of this discovery, right? So the significance of this discovery is that it made us clear. Australopithecines have evolved from Africa and not from Asia. Okay, so not many other facts which we have got after having this discovery. Now, what type of what type of specimen or what type of facts we have got? Right, the fossil evidence is which we need to talk. Okay. because they are they are asking about the discovery they are asking about its physical features about tuang so we do have to discuss about the evidences such as which part we have found so we have found mandible facial skeleton endocranial parts of a child and that's why we have given the name australopithecus africanus what is austral austral means it's like pithecus means ape like austral is south and ape south ape and we have found about australopithecines in where in south and east africa so during pliocene period we have got this hominids so hominids is for the classification in which we includes primates and uh, those primates who have been ex uh, like no now they are no more extinct and even though those primates which are today alive we do have to 
talk about its status that in which family australopithecines comes into and it's better if we can give a very uh, short uh, you know bullet point answers so these are grouped under the subfamily of australopithecinia the genus of australopithecus is now recognized as clear undoubted hominids okay so they fall under the classification of hominids okay and then these are some of the details when we have got when we have received them so you do have to tell about the time period as well okay now they are talking about the subspecies you will find we will have robustus species and we do have a gracile species species so you do have to talk about their physical characteristics okay so gracile and robustus so for africanus top you can say some about rounded skull there was no sagittal crest so sagittal crest is here you can see this is a sagittal crest and you will see and you will you do have to tell about the differences so what is the major differences in gracile what is the major differences in robustus species and then in detail you do have to tell about tuam okay so what are the features you need to talk about you need to talk about the differences about you know the skulls which we have received so this is just for the explanation where you have a like you know which part is known as ex, uh, skull exterior what what is temporal muscle and all this point so this this is referred as mandible it is only for explanation but majorly you do have to tell okay if we are saying the kind of skull which we have found and you do have to tell the differences you should know that okay this part is frontal was it a frontal which we have got or a parietal or this occipital right so which type we have got so you can just you should have good understanding so this part here and here it's frontal right and then here you can find a sphenoid then we have a temporal or this is a maxilla right and the sagittal crest i was talking about which very which is really very important now we don't see the sagittal crest it is here this okay and this is a mandible so mandible is like very important to understand and to show the differences okay you do have to make these diagrams right so practice will help you to get the uh, like you know to get the perfection it's okay even if you are not able to make the perfect pictures of the skulls but you do have to make the pictures you need to show the differences okay and then you do have to tell about their differences so what is the differences between gracile australopithecines and robust which is often known as paranthropus so the main difference between gracile and robust is that gracile species has smaller cheek teeth pronounced proganthism less flared cheeks and no sagittal crest but robust species had enormous cheek teeth robust jaws and massive jaw muscle sometimes anchored to a bony crest running along the top of the skull and further more discussions okay so this is what you people have to talk about and then they were asking about uh, upsc did ask you about tuang child so you do have to tell about the tuang child remender was the first fossil you know he discovered and why it is important it was the first fossil of human ancestor found in africa it provided the first concrete evidences that this is this is continent not asia was the cradle of human kind and further more information you people have to write so the question is uh, direct this year which upsc asked but it it then again you will see they have asked very specifically now you cannot just simply explain about the phylogenetic status of australopithecine you do have to tell about with respect to africa right and then you do have to tell about tuang so this is how we need to uh, answer this particular question okay so i ho i hope you like this lecture thank you